This is a General Electric engine from 1903. They were going to go into the steam engine, steam automobile business and decided not to. This is a wobble plate engine. And we will show you all the parts. These are the cylinder heads. The valves are up here. The cylinders are insulated. The connecting rods go here. And this is not a swash plate. This is a wobble plate. And what happens is, by these four pistons going back and forth, you then end up with rotary motion. Now I am by hand moving the flywheel here, but you can see the rotary motion. We have a ball and socket here. We have four balls and sockets here. And so swash plates work entirely differently. This is a very efficient, very easy to lubricate system of, return, of turning reciprocating power into rotary power. Then we have up here two pumps. The small diameter one, wherever it is, is the fuel pump. And the large diameter one is the water pump. Here's the fuel pump here. Is the small diameter water pump is there so that fuel is at the same time as the water. And then we have a reversing gear there, linkage, excuse me, linkage, so we can reverse. And we can do many things. Then if we look over here, we can see the valves, the valve, the head of the valves are here. The valve push rods are right down in there. We don't have any lights, so you can't see them. But you can see them moving back and forth. These little arms actuate the, uh, the valves. So we have poppet valves. We have single acting engines. We have intake and exhaust for steam. It's a very compact engine, a very interesting one, and usable for some things. Uh, no one has ever really made an engine like this that I understand uh, commercially. And so there it is. Uh, this is the, from anything I can tell, this is the only engine by General Electric of this design that has ever been made and is in existence. After the uh, General Electric decided to not go into cars, uh, one of the General Electric uh, executives put this in a uh, steamboat, put this in a boat. Once it was in a boat, the boat became a steamboat. And we have a, a large, if you look over here, if you see that big box just past the just past the red boiler. That is the hairpin bend uh, steam generator boiler for this engine. And that came out of the boat, this came out of the boat. And I acquired this in the middle of New Hampshire from somebody who had acquired it. And I thought he was charging me too much. Uh, but I happily paid and now I found out I didn't pay near enough because it's a very valuable engine, very useful thing.